We found a notepad in Tim's study. It has your son's name on it and the tomorrow's date. It's a what? All right, Have and Have Not fans, it feels good to be back in the groove of doing multiple Have and Have Not videos, you know, each week. So this is pretty fun. But one of the most shocking moments from this week's preview is the fact that while going through the belongings of, you know, Jim and Catherine at Catherine's house, um, we did find out that on a notepad, George told Hannah that Benny's name and tomorrow's date was written on it. And when it comes to the haves and the have nots, tomorrow could mean the difference between the very next episode or the very next season. But I do believe that the next day will be showing up within the next couple episodes. So we don't have to worry about it too much. But the question is, did Jim put out another hit on Benny? I do believe that the first hit was from the the surgeon who was someone that doesn't belong to the Malone family, but it was someone who knew how to... What's, what's it called? Shank or stabbing someone in the right you know place to either kill them or wound them. So the question is, did Jim put a new hit out on Benny after Benny kicked his ass and dragged him out of the house? Or was this kind of like the surgeon making a second trip to Benny to take him out this time if the money wasn't taken back? Now, this kind of reminds me of the situation where Jim put a hit via the Malones on Veronica, but then he told David the hit was called off. But then later on, we later on, and I remember being called crazy for this. This was back when my channel was first starting out. I'm like, did Veronica put a hit on herself in order to arrange Maggie being killed? And she did. I forgot the episode she said that in, but Jim called off the hit to take out Veronica, but then Veronica arranged for a hit in her own house and use that in order to kill Maggie, and then the hitman was killed by the police. So, when it comes to this situation with Benny, is this hit new? Is this hit something that Jim had already called off, but he just so happened to have the notepad? And keep in mind, in the preview, George mentioned Benny's name and tomorrow's date, but that doesn't mean other people couldn't have been in that same notepad, for all we know, just to kind of put that out there. Now... I think that when we move further into the episode, we might get more intel, but uh, just kind of a side note here. Notice that this Friday is going to be the Netflix premiere for Tyler Perry when it comes to his movie, A Fall from Grace, which Crystal Fox is the starring role in. So I think this upcoming episode might actually be Hannah focused. And then of course, with it kind of putting Hannah in the forefront, it's kind of a foreshadowing of, oh yeah, because Crystal Fox is also going to be in a fall from grace. So I really do hope that both the episode this week for the haves and the have nots and the next Netflix, Netflix movie do very well, just because, you know, that'll be a great week from uh, for crystal Fox. So I'm going to be, I don't, okay. Would it surprise me if Jim put out a hit on Benny? No, but to be kind of, I don't want to say fair to Jim, but it almost kind of, you know, rational, I forgot the exact amount that Lloyd told Jim that was in his bank account, but it was only a few thousand dollars. What was it like 10 or not even a hundred thousand? I could be wrong, but I forgot the exact amount. Guys, bear with me. It's been a long time since that episode aired, but it didn't make sense because of the fact that Catherine had given Jim back $10 million, but for whatever reason, now he only had a few thousand dollars in his account. Hence why he was so adamant about getting back Wyatt's inheritance. So, I don't know if Jim could afford a hit on anyone unless he either used his favors from, you know, when he was a judge or if he arranged for like, you know, a cheap person to arrange for the hit or whatever the situation is. But I think it's just one of those mysteries where Hannah's going to visit Jim in the hospital and then try to get an answer from him and then possibly bump into Selena as a result of that. Or, you know, she goes to see Catherine in the hospital, but we'll have to wait and find out. But also, it might create suspense because Benny just got out of the whole Malone situation. So the last thing I want is to see him being chased down again because him and Mitch are going out to the bar, what, around 10 p.m. So if they're out most of the night, then technically speaking, this alleged hitman could pop up after midnight or within the next few episodes and, um, you know, try to whack Benny. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. So. I'm honestly a bit unsure. I don't know if Jim put out a new hit on Benny, 
I don't know if this hit was kind of like, you know, okay, the surgeon made his first trip, but if my money isn't back in my account, why is inheritance? If the money isn't back in my account by then, I'm going to have another person go to Benny, you know, tomorrow and take him out for good. So we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And also, if it turns out this is a fresh hit, do you think that Hannah and Candace are going to kick Jim's ass while he's in the hospital bed? That would be pretty interesting. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.